Hi everybody, welcome back to the hardest name for now. In today's video I'm going to tell you 8 battery settings you need to change on your Xiaomi 15T or 15 Pro. At first go to the settings. Here you have to go straight to the battery if you scroll down to the battery over here. And now if you are in the battery, the first thing I do recommend is that if you tap on the kernel to tap on mode here we do have the modes uh, you can select it up to your own needs actually but i do recommend to have it unbalanced if you want the performance mode for gaming or something like that enable the performance mode but if you want it, your phone last much longer enable ultra battery zero or la or just saver i do recommend having only the saver or balanced this is the first thing. The second thing is when we tap here on the battery protection and tap here on the battery protection. Now, here as you can see, we have a lot of cool options. Uh, this, we can charge our phone fully up to 100%. More battery protection, which is to extend the battery life. The device will stop charging one battery level, which is 80%, and charge fully only once scheduled. Smart charging is to extend the battery lifespan. The system will learn how you charge your device and stop charging when the battery level reaches 80% in applicable situations. Have uh, the battery protection or smart charging enabled every single time. Don't have charge fully enabled. This is the second thing. The third thing is the application battery saver. So, here we can tap on the additional features. Uh, pardon me, no, it was not the additional features, it was somewhere here or here. Here, as you can see, we have these applications, and if we tap on the application, we can tap the battery saver and enable the battery saver, which is the recommended option here. Just leave it enabled. And the next thing that we can re recommend to enable is the auto brightness. Go back and go to the display and brightness. Here, disable display and brightness. It may be better for our eyes and better for the perf overall performance of us, but it's, it's worth for the battery. We are, pardon me, <coughs> we are using the light sensor in our phone and it costs our battery very, very much. This is the fourth thing. The fifth thing is the static or animated wallpapers I don't really recommend to have the animated wallpapers but if you want, still want to have them at first go to the lock screen over here and disable all your option here tap on the wallpaper carousel tap agree have it enabled and have this option as you can see all the wallpapers in mobile data disabled it should pardon me it should increase your battery life very very much because you are not updating your wallpapers in mobile data you will, you will update them only using the wi-fi and that's very very nice feature and the sixth thing is uh, the turn off mobile data when device is locked and clear cache when locked so we ha we can enable that when you go back here and when you go back here to the settings and here now we have to go back to the battery the battery is exactly over here now tap on the charging options pardon me not charging options it was additional features and here in the, this is the first thing which is here clear cache when device locked tap it and here I do recommend to have it enabled for example in 30 minutes this should be the best for your battery and apart from that as the seventh feature we do have the always display and the wake screen notifications so go to the display and brightness again in the main menu of your settings which is over here and now here scroll Till you see here, as you can see, where was that? Here, maybe. Here, always on display, as you can see. Always on display is over here. And now we have to, as you can see, tap always on display. Let's have the always display disabled. Just have this, this switch 
gray, not blue. Now go back to the main menu of these headings and go straight to the notification status bar. Here, as you can see, we have a lot of options, but it's not that very, very important. We have to tap on the app notifications, and here we can disable. At first, we have to optimize for more notifications you want. Then go back and tap on the notification style. You can here enable them or disable them. And now the most important one, which is where was that? Um, here, uh, not here, here. As you can see, we can manage the full notifications or badges. If we tap badges, we can disable all badges. Here, floating notifications, and the same is with the lock screen. Here in the lock screen, tap format, and don't show lock screen notifications. And apart from that, keep software updated and avoid access heat and charging practices. And that's it, hope it helps you, and goodbye.